Hello community, I'm here again. So you want to learn Krita? That means you are a creative person. I know Krita has a lot of different brushes and they are very good. But when you are starting with Krita, it can be a bit overwhelming. So I have prepared carefully a good selection of brushes for you. Let's see what we have. So you can see I have divided Krita in three different levels. It will be like a game. If you go through the level one, you will access to the level two. So start from the basic and the brushes will come later. You will learn much, much faster. Good starting point is 10 brushes, then 15 brushes, and then you can go much higher or just keep it simple. If you want to see how many brushes Krita has by default, you can go to this icon and just select the old tag. And you can see we have a lot of them. I'm going to show you how to create a tag and add your preferred brushes. To do this, we can do manually. For example, we can just uh, locate the icon and just right click and assign to tag and create a new tag. Click plus and done. You have created a new tag. If we want to do this much faster, we can go to the settings minus resources and then go to the Krita for default resources and just select the brushes that you see here. For example, I select this one and this one pressing control and we will be selecting all the other brushes pressing control. The airbrush, the basic for the opacity, the pencil, uh, the pastel for texture, which is located right here and one for wet painting, which is interacting if we want to mix really easy the colors. And we go here for blending. This blender is amazing. And a bit of texture, which is located here. And a bit of dots. So we go here to add a new tag. And we write here then fabs or level one, which you prefer. Level one. Click plus. And there you have it. If you go right now to level one, you can see that all your brushes have been located here. You only have to do this once. When you restart Krita, your tag will be there. Easy. And now let me explain you why I choose these brushes. When we are painting, we always made mistakes. So we need a way for erasing. In Krita, you press E and you can see how the icon is activated and you can see how I'm erasing. But if you need a specific brush tip, you need to have at least two erasers. This is the hard eraser, which is perfect for create holes, corners, and you need the soft eraser that can create this type of soft edges. For painting, we use the basic two opacity. This has been used from the beginning of the digital painting. So you can create a lot of things with uh, just the opacity. In one single stroke, we can fill an area just with this level of pressure and we have the same value. Also, we need a pencil for the sketching time. Not too traditional and it can blend very well with all the brushes. Then we have the chalk details brush and also really cool because it can produce the grainy effect and we can modify the grainy size right here with the pattern scale. We can make it bigger and smaller. So you decide what you need. Also, we have these to create wet painting Maybe you have two colors and you want to blend. You are blending really fast and painting at the same time. I love it. I prefer to use the matte softer so I can make uh, softer transitions like this. We can have two colors and we want blend from the edge exactly. So I use this and I am blending the edge. So if I increase, you can see the blending area is bigger, blending colors. This is for texture. You can create textures really fast. Maybe you have to create a wall, a cave, something similar. 
so it's a very good way and finally this the texture combines pretty well with the spots and these are the 10 brushes that i think are enough for a level one if you want that i explore the level two and level three just let me know in the comments and now let me show you how we can use these brushes i want to erase i will be using a hard eraser because i can create corners really fast cut the areas without worrying about too much so i can refine also i have the soft <laughs> also i have the soft eraser <laughs> Also, I have this soft eraser that I can combine. And remember, we can just adjust this to flow. If I decrease the flow, I can erase softly. So imagine I need to apply here a like gradient. So if I paint in the same layer, I could use this into a multiply and just increase the shadow effect over this area or increase the lightness if I use the color dodge. Airbrush is really used when we want to create soft transition in soft shading and is very good. And if I want to continue painting, I could be using this brush and it would be for blocking. Also, designing what I want to have here, maybe a cylinder. So I am drawing, I am defining what I'm going to be painting right here. And also to create tiny details or emphasize lighting like these touches or highlights. So you can just create really fast the details you need. Also making details. And then we have the chalk details. Maybe I want to add rust effect. So I select this color and then I go darker. So I start to play with uh, this value here and this value here. I'm adding rust like damage so I can control. I will blend in. In fact, I paint this little sketch with this brush. This is modified already by default is 16. I add a little touch, just adjust the ratio to this. And now I can paint details uh, wherever I want. So for example, I could create a lighting effect and I am blending at the same time. Some touches of lighting here or bumpiness. This is uh, pretty cool. Another good thing about this brush is that in a low pressure, we can blend. And now goes to the blending. So for this, I need a very, very low value. So we can apply this to this robot and create this atmosphere. So your focal point is now more obvious. And the texture is really fun. This is if we want to add texture on the robot, I create a new layer, put this into overlay. So now I can start to create like little touches. And if we go below the 50% of gray, we are darkening. And remember, we can combine with different colors. So we can just create in the right spots here and there. And we are creating this uh, damage or dirtiness. Also, you can apply here a transparency mask. And then you need to change to the painting and paint with black if you want to make them disappear or paint with white if you want them to appear again. And the points are like a complementary tool. And so you can apply maybe on the eyes, like energy is coming from the robot. Or you can just go here and just add little touches, not too dark. Little touches here and there. And you can see the effect. So we are adding tiny spots of grunge. And as we have these into overlay, you can remove, maybe this is too much, and you're left as it is. 
this will be how I use uh, these brushes normally in my own paintings. So, so I encourage you to explore and get fun. So you don't need hundreds of brushes. You already have what you need. 